synchros on the way 1010. So dealing with spiritual awakenings and spiritual expansions, 1010 can symbolize completions, culminations of some sort, releasing baggage. You're trying to um pretty much close out cycles and complete cycles. So that lets me know that you may have had a spiritual epiphany, maybe ending some type of journey. Or um like in my case, I just had my second spiritual birthday, which would be uh, September 11th, which would be <laughs> the 17th or 18th year anniversary of my liver transplant. So thank God I'm still here delivering messages. I guess he just won't let me leave until I complete whatever this journey is, right? <laughs> but uh, very blessed and divinely guided, uh, being spiritually aware and uh, mindful and even protected you, know, you notice little small details you notice little small small nuances um, if if everything was perfect there would be nothing to fix you know we would just be living the same mundane lives over and over and over and over so you know there's a point to all this stuff for whatever reason you know we were put down here or some of us came down here to experience the earthly pleasures you know pleasures of taste and sight and sound and you know feeling and all those different things music art food all that stuff travel you get the sightsee <laughs> it's mother earth so either way you know it's it's devil energy if you want to call it that we work a lot down here we bound to the earth plane we're bound to societal norms what is capricorn ruled by saturn or something like that um, boundaries and whatnot a little bit of mars somewhere in there i'm not sure um but yeah, man, it's a whole lot that can be said about um, practicing numerology and um, linking it to um, astrology and all these different types of spiritual practices. Again, they're all, they all had to come from somewhere. But yeah, 1010. So let's get started. Rounding your reading today, we have, we have the Nine of Swords. That's dealing with mental anguish. <laughs> Dealing with a lot of thoughts at this time, wanting to be done with them, um, seeking clarity as well. Maybe have a lot of, I was gonna say swirlers. <laughs> well, it is a, a black crow and a white crow, but a bunch of people swirling around your um, inner, around your immediate area. Could be a lot of noise, or it could be just a lot of chatter, gossip. The internet, internet or chitter chatter. All right, what else we getting? Page of Swords, spying, Four of Cups, the Empress, Three of Swords. We also have the Magician. All right. All right, so yep, we got Page of Swords, which would be spying or a whole lot of, could be background thoughts or background words or someone talking behind your back. But again, that would be spying. That would be uh, looking into one's information. I wouldn't even necessarily take it as introspection. It's, again, birds. What are the birds saying? <laughs> it's gossip. It's spying. It's intelligence, if you want to take it that way. Espionage. Learning as well. Um, it could be learning or teaching or taking notes as well. Of course, that's Page of Swords. Hmm. There is distractions here. Someone interrupting with your studies. That was in one of my past readings. Hmm. <laughs> Funny how the universe brings these things together. Huh. Then we have Four of Cups. You not being happy about that situation. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> unhappy with that situation here. As we are trying to manifest. 
But uh, the four of cups bring emotions. You know, fours are about our stability. You know, we try to ground ourselves in whatever element it may be uh, to achieve balance. As of right now, your way of achieving balance is refusing offers, refusing others is cup. Connections, friendships, relationships. <laughs> or there's something that you're not seeing at this time. Maybe uh, the universe is trying to offer you something. Could be your spiritual ancestors as well. Something you're not looking out for. You're not paying attention to it. Or you're not noticing it. Or you're refusing to accept it. Her hand is touching it. She's refusing to. She's refusing to accept it. The Empress brings brings what you see here on this card. Brings uh, knowledge. It brings uh, creation. Brings pregnancy as well. Um, this is a highly attractive individual as well. Uh, very spiritual individual. Very caring, nurturing. Uh, very divine as well, the Empress is. Mm, she doesn't really deal in too much shadow aspect. Uh, but, you know, never want to see the Empress get angry. <laughs> but what is the story here? I'm trying to not... Um, be too I'm not trying to not, I'm trying to not be shallow or have tunnel vision at this time you do see you are manifesting although there are distractions with the three of swords of course again swords are about our thoughts and our words how people make us feel or how the the situation tends to play itself out how the energies are um, are ebbing and flowing around certain situations. It could be in regards to love, or this could be <laughs> disrespect. Cheating, yes, would be a sign of disrespect, but we have to learn how to interpret these cards in a more deep, in a more deeper way. But each reader is different, so it's like being a regular person and being able to use discernment and intelligence and awareness, or being a reader. It's like. Everyone has their own different ways of, of interpreting things. <laughs> we can line up every uh, cop, judge, and attorney uh, in the park and make them lay down on a bed of grass and have them all look up to the sky. And they'll all tell you something that they see different in the clouds. Matter of fact, you take them to a psychiatric hospital because they all need psych evaluations. <laughs> exactly. That's what this is. These mofos need psych evaluations. All these law enforcement, all these people in power. All these people that's supposed to be in power, we need, they need psyche evaluations. We need, a, we need a revamp of the whole system here, of the whole entire world. <laughs> there needs to be a birthing of a new system. Yeah, there's a lot of distrust going on here. We got gossip. We have people ignoring their emotions or not being able to express themselves. They're out of breath. Their face are covered in masks. <laughs> yep. See, there's a lot of stories to tell here. It just depends on which ones my ancestors want to draw attention to. Or maybe it's just my subconscious. And again, where does my subconscious come from? Where does my thought patterns come from? Does it come from the people that taught me? Or does it come from my DNA? Where does my DNA come? Does it come from my ancestors? <laughs> where do my ancestors come from? People, uh... They act insensitive to these topics sometimes when they make fun of these subjects and they wonder why they start to go bald. But, um, you know, we'll just mess with the hair for now. We won't touch the bank account, right, ancestors? <laughs> but keep manifesting. Keep doing the best that you can uh, for the most part. Uh, it just looks like there's a lot of distractions here for the most part while you're in your mani master manif master manifesting season is what i'm getting <laughs> okay okay <laughs> all righty then all right not too bad but that's it that's going to be all for your 1010 message today 
we're actually going to be ending on 1010. So yeah, completion, spiritual awakening, spiritual um, awareness, expansions, uh, spiritual epiphanies, again, all that stuff. Those 1010 moments, those aha moments, those moments of completion or... Um, again, whether it's a birthday or something like that, you know, you have that, you have to come all the way back around to completing that one year cycle. But, uh, yeah, man, catch you guys on the next one. Be safe. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to promote stuff. Everything that you want in regards to a personal reading or any spiritual coaching can be found down in the description box below. Um, did I forget anything? No, I didn't. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> be safe.